$1 USD house in rural Japan. This is the second half of the video where I went through the inside of an uh, abandoned house in the northern Japan and uh, there is a virtual tour where I basically went through different corners and talked about um, the area of this house as well. So if you haven't checked it out, please go see it in a different video. And for this one, I'll be mainly talking about the restriction, the rules, and of course the additional cost that you will really need for buying a house like this. So let's get started. Restrictions. First one, non-conformance liability. This is nothing special. You can probably find this in any other property that you find in a, a Japanese listing. This is pretty much saying that uh, the seller is not uh, to be held responsible for anything, any faults, any problems that he or she does not know before uh, selling the house. And then outside of the city planning zone just means that you need permission for wanting to build something new on your land or torn down part of your building. And here comes the most difficult condition to clear for buying a property like this and that is you need permission to buy a property with agricultural land. This means that you need permission from the agricultural committee before you can finish the purchasing contract for this property. And how do you get permission? Well, the easiest and most straightforward way is that you will need to be a licensed farmer in Japan. Depending on the area of the property, there are exceptions where the agricultural land can be turned into residential land or other types of land that will not require you to have any sort of permission before buying. I have also heard about cases where people uh, was able to buy these agricultural land without being licensed farmers. And then what they did was that uh, they just had to submit some sort of application or plan uh, saying that they're going to utilize these agricultural land for the next 5-10 years or uh, even longer, I'm not sure. And as long as the agriculture committee approves of that, uh, even that if you're not a licensed farmer, um, they would accept your uh, intent to purchase these land. Again, I would think that the difficulty of obtaining permission from the agriculture committee would vary drastically depending on the location. So before you're going to make a, a purchase or intent, uh, in the properties that has agricultural land, please consult with the local agriculture committee first on the likelihood of you actually being able to buy a property like this. As for additional costs, that start with the annual property tax. With this number, you'll be able to get an estimation of how much the assessed property value is, and that is something that you can use to calculate other kind of taxes. For this particular property, uh, because wooden houses over 25-30 years, the house value would be zero. So I'm just going to calculate the assets land value, uh, which will turn out to be about 200k USD. The one third that I use in the formula could be turned into one six, depending on the lot size. Uh, but for the 1.4%, it's a set number. Um, so you have other properties that you would like to get the, the assessed land value, you can use the same formula. Okay, now comes the most important statement of this property saying that you would have to take over the other farm or forest land uh, as a gift. Inheritance tax is going to be costing you a fortune for zero yen houses like this one. First we have the assets inherited value which was for the land that's about 200k and minus uh, 10k for basic exemption that uh, comes down to 190k for the tax value. And then once we have the tax value we would have to time 50% for the tax rate and then we minus the exemption amount of 22700 that would add up to be 72k and 300 dollars usd the tax rate is like a ladder system so the higher the tax value is the higher the tax rate is and then the 22700 uh, exemption rate is also a fixed amount that applies to uh, a certain uh, range for tax value so to inherit this property as a gift 
uh, approximately 972k USD is the amount you will have to pay. Other than the gift tax, there is also the registration tax and the property acquisition tax. Registration tax is when you pay during the closing of uh, hanging over the property and uh, it would be the access land value times 2% which would turn out to be 4000 USD plus the fee that you pay to the attorney. Property acquisition tax is something that you paid during the next fiscal year. Uh, the local government will be sending you a letter to ask you to pay this amount which will be about 3% of the access value. Uh, that would be 6,000 USD for this property. In total, we have the number of approximately 82k USD for a one-time only tax. Other than this, you would need to pay additional costs to fix and renovate the house and that really depends on how the condition of the property is. There are a few other statements saying that, for example, this property includes unregistered area, or that the property does not have a certain boundary. Well, I don't have the fixed number, but these are all things that can probably be solved with a few hundred, few thousand US dollar. Uh, that means in total for uh, buying this zero yen, zero dollar house, it would be best if you can prepare at least a hundred K US dollar if you really want to make this your home in Japan.